My name is Alfred Montaner and we have a special treat, guys. It's not every single day that you get to come and see an amazing boat, right? But not just an amazing boat, an amazing boat that has, that's right, quad 600s and, and we have footage out of this boat coming out of Hallover. <laughs> Guys, you remember when I was filming at Hallover, I made a text message and I said, I gotta call Alan to see if that's a boat that's gonna be at the boat show. And what did you tell me? It's gonna be there. It's gonna be there yes, and sir. Paige, this captain, and I called him and the rest is history guys. So Alan, Hello. we are at the Fort Lauderdale 2021 boat show. We've done these videos in the past. What a show so far. A yeah, days it's in. been awesome, man. This thing, is, this thing is on another level. Yeah, it's been crowded. Show's been great. People are buying. Great attitudes. Great having atmosphere. a good time. Yeah, it's man. It's a good time. Absolutely. It's been a while since we feel like this vibe, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So what are we on right now? Because, you know, a lot of people have not seen this boat yet. And yeah. I'm so glad that I can show inside and you can tell me some of the yeah. changes so from this, what we have here. This is Steve Potts' demo, our owner's demo. We are going to be selling it and it will be available after the Miami show. Um, otherwise, we're about, eh, about a year out right now. But anyhow, this is a new leaning post setup over here on the starboard side. We got a trash can. I can access it from the top. I can slide it out here. I've got a sink, refrigerator. I've got my grill here cutting board and then an ice maker over here on this side and this thing pumps out about 500 pounds of ice in 24 hours so tackle drawers and then down inside the uh, cabin we've totally redone that new design it's got sort of black wood with uh, white colored vinyl looks real nice gray hardwood floors this one's got the Grigio interior with the engines Alfred showed you earlier we're getting about 70 miles an hour so this thing cooks. So this thing, this thing is is going seventy miles. Seventy an hour. miles an hour top end. So so yep. what's up with these uh, quad six hundreds? Give me give me some feedback and some. They they've been incredible. The quietest engine I think I've ever heard. Um, the pods underneath are the only thing that turns, so you don't get any noise, no movement back here. So it's nice whenever you have the joysticks running. They'll turn about 45 degrees where the conventional engine turns only about 30. Yeah. Um, maintenance through the top of the engine is incredible. So a lot, of, a lot of pros with those new 600s. So tell them tell them the model that this is called. What's the model? It's that the they... Scout 530 LXF. We just, this is the first time we've done this leaning post setup. We can still do it the other way where the, uh, the seat there faces inside and then the bar is facing the stern of the boat. I kind of like this. So, I yeah, like this. this is nice. I like I mean, this because it can hang out in here, yeah, make you a drink, hang out in here. get on the grill and I'm inside the AC in this area with the enclosure. You know, I'm outside of the sun if I want to come in and then I'm not getting in people's way if I'm, you know, back in the cockpit and people are back there entertaining. Great. So it works out great. So, so let me know what we got going on over here at the house. So, Obviously, I see that we got some garments everywhere, right? Oh, so. yeah. So um, it's a digital switching boat, so you don't have the plastic switches everywhere. You can go right here and control the whole boat. Then I've got a redundancy panel up top. In case I have an emergency, I'll know where these are at all times. So that's these are you know sort of the items that you would need in a hurry. Um, and you can do anything you want through, through the boat right here. We've got two garments up here at the helm, one above. Uh, one back here on the, the uh, port seat facing aft and then another one down below. So you, you can control the boat from any, any one of those. This, I mean, this thing is absolutely stunning and I've walked several of these and uh, you know, every time I'm, I'm on one, I always say, I want that one. And then I get on another one, I'm like, I want that one. Yeah, so what's really cool too is stuff you can't see on this boat, like the way it's built. It's all carbon fiber and epoxy. Almost everything structural on this boat is carbon fiber, epoxy infused. What's, what's the weight on something like this? Um, weight for, lead time right now is at about one year. So, like, so you guys have got a, about a year out and, uh, and I'm assuming the, like the shortages, right? Like uh, a lot of things are not available, right? Yeah, that, yeah it's, tough, it's tough getting parts. We do have one boat in inventory at our dealer um, on the Panhandle of Florida at Legendary Marine right now. Um, we've got another one that's getting built that's going to the northeast from Marine Max. So um, there are a couple of them that are available. And this one, again, like I said, will be available in February. 
Otherwise, all of them are sold until about a year from Still now. Still making these in South Carolina? We are. Yeah, we're all doing right. about one a month right now. Yeah, all right, guys. So let's yeah. go ahead and walk below Alan, and we're going to go ahead and talk about a couple things here. Yeah, sure. Sea Keeper on this bad boy, right? Sea Keeper standard is a six, and you can upgrade to a nine if you like. You can see the wood veneer down here. We've done this one in black with the gray floors. You got refrigerator here, freezer and ice maker, trash can. Of course, you got to have a wine cooler. Yeah, man, this thing yeah. this thing looks like a, like a hotel on the water. I yeah. mean, who's staying here? Save somebody some hotel money, right? That's right, that's right. <laughs> they, probably, know, they probably wouldn't even want to stay in the hotel. They just hang out in here. Call this the owner suite so they can shut that off and have privacy. You got a separate head and shower. About a queen size berth down there that lifts up. There's rod storage underneath that bed. Is that onyx back there that's illuminated? Yeah, that is real backlit onyx. Guys, this is onyx. You know what onyx is? That is like the most expensive marble. <laughs> right. And the hardest marble to that's maintain, right. but it's <laughs> on a wall, so it doesn't matter. Yep. Illuminated. How cool is that? Table will drop down here to form another berth, and then you get another two person berth in the aft there. Oh, look at this. I didn't even think that this was here. Look at this, wow. So everybody has a little bit of space here, right? Absolutely. That is so cool. Um, I see that we have also a door here for for the head. Where's, yep. where's, the, where's it? it's, it's over here? So you get the head okay. on this side. Okay, so you have yep. a head and you have a separate yep. shower yep. as well? Oh, I'll trade you, that's All correct. Right. Yep. All right, guys, let's, let's look at the head in here. Man, look at this. Yep, and so, then, uh, so yeah, definitely a lot of space. And then if you just want to go ahead and, and switch over and you want, to have, you want to have some privacy, you close that door as well, right? Yep, I can shut this pocket door, give you a master suite back here. Look at that. That is so big. I like that little companion area that we can go ahead. Now, this is obviously some, some, some lighting in here. Yeah, this overhead light and the light um, natural light that comes in from the front, I can press a button and smoke that out. So there's, there's full privacy if you wanted to get? Uh, absolutely. Okay. And then with the press of a button here, you can shut off the cabin. Boom. So let's, let's go to the bow real quick and let's talk a little, a little bit about fishing because I know a lot of sport fish guys that are transitioning to these big boy center consoles. This yeah, the beauty of this is you can run it yourself, you know? Yeah. Uh, you don't need a crew. Of course, you got amazing speed at 70 miles an hour, good efficiency for a boat this size. You got storage up here that you can use as a cooler. Nice. You'll notice the way these shut, it's kind of like the cabinets in your house, it's the soft shut. Got ambient lighting. I love your channel. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> These two tables will go down um, mm -hmm. independent of each other. So if I wanted a lounge on one side and a table on the other, I still have that. I've got storage all the way around. And big, then, uh, big bow area too. So uh, you can yeah. have your big bow locker and the windlass here, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining. That's right. Yep. yep. And controls up there. Wow, Huge look at this, guys. This is cool stuff. And lounge seat. I'm about 5'10", and I can stretch out with plenty of room. Got armrests that fold up. So after Miami, this is going to be available. After Miami, it's it could be yours. It could be yours, guys. That's they got to right. show it off one more time. That's right. And Alfred Monthner has to do a sea trial on it. If not, they can't take it. We can take care of that. I think I think we can yeah. make it happen, guys. Absolutely. How cool is this? And I see that you guys. What is this? Like a plastic or or, or, or some type of sea deck? Uh, uh, the, yeah, this? yeah, yeah. It's like a sea deck, uh, PVC material. Yeah. So really easy to clean. It's got great non-skid capabilities to it. Um, we can do it in a lot of different colors, so if there's something else or a different color pattern you'd like to have, it's not a problem. Um, look at that captain behind you. Call him real yeah. quick. Hey, James. James. Come here, James. You know, they told me at the factory to keep an eye on James going out of haul over. <laughs> did he have a beer in his hand? <laughs> did, did he have a beer in his hand? It's worse, Alan. This was the gentleman who was ripping haul over. <laughs> And uh, he went a couple of times, and I was stalking you, James. It, it was pretty rough that day. Yeah, it yeah. was very rough. Yeah, listen, there was like King Tide was dumping out of the. Listen, and there was like two or three people that were out there, and you guys were one of them. Yeah. So, and I saw you having fun a little bit down there too. <laughs> yeah. So, have you ran this boat with the uh, the 450s? Oh yeah. Big yeah. difference from the 600s? They're both good packages. Yeah. 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 If you had to pick one, what would you pick? Uh, it's kind of hard. So. Come on, stop beat. Yeah. Give me something. <laughs> no, they're they're both good packages. So okay. I, I mean, 
uh, the new 600 technology is pretty awesome. Uh, What's easier for you to dock? Uh, they're, I would say that they're both the same. Okay. Okay, guys, heard, heard from a captain. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna watch you coming in All from right. after the show, going to Miami. Don't think I don't. Don't worry about it. Uh, I give you the good footage over there, Alan. <laughs> we we got the. The, the people over there at the factory making sure we got everything going on in hollow we got so this thing was coming out of hollow <laughs> we fished it with 16 guys one time which was insane we didn't we didn't know how that was going to go if we we're going to be fighting each other while we were out there fighting fish but yeah, that's my it turn it worked out great man hey, that's my hit <laughs> yeah we ended up slaying it um we had a great time everybody got times on the rods and there's places to come to kind of chill out have a drink you know get out of the sun you know fish up the gunnels so you know, a lot of opportunity for fishing on it as well. So you, with the press of a button, can, can, can close these up, right? I like the fact that if you want to go ahead and use this as more real estate and just maybe just hang out. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, I can raise them. So all you got to do is beat With the press of a up. button. Very nice. And they store the, um, the overboard ladder. It's like a pool ladder. Mm -hmm. It's got handles that come up and go all the way down, and on the other side we have the lifeline system. So, so, so technically, down. if somebody wanted to bring in a massive fish on this boat, I mean, I'm sure it's not designed for that, but are, can you bring it up, bring it into the boat with that? No problem. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, massive. you might get a little water back here, but you know, no big deal. Guys, yeah. imagine that giant tuna coming in back here. Oh yeah, yeah, we got some good customer. Uh, Good customer photos of some giant tuna on this boat, as a matter of fact. All right, so so you said we were about a year out. Somebody's yep. in the market for something similar. Maybe maybe they want a second uh, station, like a tuna tower or something like that. Yep. What is what's the range of some of these? You know. Uh, scouts can go what are we looking at this one's around 2.9 uh the tower you know if you added that to it it's going to be somewhere around uh, another a uh, little under 200 gram more for that so you can have the quad uh 600s or the quince 450s if you want on this correct correct what, what's the top speed on something like this this one is 70.1 top speed 70 and what's the fuel what fuel is it holding how much how many gallons 875 so your range is going to end up being around uh about half that because you're cruising at about 0.5. So uh, have you talked to Mercury to say we want to throw in another 600, make it happen? <laughs> Is I don't it going to happen? They would fit. This I, listen, massive. listen, we can just stretch the boat just slightly out more, a little bit more, and put one more. Um, guys, these things are massive. When yeah, I tell you, super quiet, they're, and they're and they're very quiet. And the big, biggest cool thing about them is that. The lower units will move, right? Yeah, you know, just, the, the, the engines will move. They're, they're fixed right there. That's right. So that's what you see. You're not going to see anything moving left or right. So we got mm -hmm. some live wells here, and I see that we have a lot of rod holders back here as well. Huh? Yeah, you got your bait wells back here. I've got fenders in them right now. But if you focus in on this, you'll see what the what the boat's made out of. Nice this carbon, carbon epoxy fiber. construction. Yeah. I so, don't know of any other builder that's building building it like that. So what what are these things here? Are these what are these here on so, the actual rock holders here? Oh, these are the uh, the transom doors. Okay, so they nice. just, Yeah, they fold out and around the back. Mm, okay. And then you got a nice walkable swim platform back there with no splash well, and then you can see what we've done with our rigging tubes for the engine wires. Where's your access, like your 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 panel and all that stuff? How do you get access to all that we've stuff? We've got one access over here on the port side to our C-Zone system, and the way that works is basically to run a system there's three prongs you plug a regular car fuse in mm -hmm. and that requires a switch to operate it if okay. you wanted to override it you move the fuse up so if anything were to ever happen to your screens you can nice. just move the fuse up one and it'll run constant power to that circuit i see you got a big old sure shade here that you can close as well we do yeah one of the thing that's really cool is these rocket launchers we've got a patent on this so these are retractable rocket launchers if i press the button oh, to it extend that sure shade it'll automatically drop those rod holders nice so i don't damage the rods or nice. the sure shade nice yep also makes it easy to load your rods up press a button they flip up. So look, somebody can make it to the Fort Lauderdale 2021 show. You mm -hmm. guys will be at Miami, right? We will. Yeah. This boat might be in Miami if it's not sold here. We're gonna. We're probably gonna have to show it Miami because all the other ones are sold. Yeah. And all again, right. this cockpit table back here. This is removable. You get a huge storage area in there. If I wanted to turn that into a uh, freezer box, I could. And then what's real cool is it's always hard to find space to store these things. We've designated a space back here behind the seat 
that fits that table and locks it in perfect. Oh, so you, oh, nice. So yeah. you can just put it away like if it wasn't even there. That's right. And you want to set up the boat more for fishing. You don't care about sitting yeah. down with a table. No, or you can pull this table out. As a matter of fact, we've got a release marine uh, battle station in there as well. Nice. Yep. Well, we're going to send a bunch of people your way over here at Scout. It's the end of the day, guys. We've been trying to do this since Annapolis, and we had this great footage <laughs> of James coming out of Hollow where I was like, Alan, make it happen. He's like, I'm waiting late. And look at this, guys. I'm Amazing. happy to. I'm guys, happy to. smash that like for the people here at Scout. And yeah. uh, you know who to call. Alan, give them your information, the website, wherever yeah. they want to call. Check us out at scoutboats.com. You can also call me on my cell phone, 843 200 3060. Happy to help you any way I can. And Thank you for checking us out. All right, guys, and let them know you saw them on Alpha's channel. <laughs>